let's solve this problem again the differential equations uh, solve the problem using separation of variables this is our problem 2x y y prime is equals to 1 plus uh, y squared where n uh, we have a condition that at x s is equals to 2 and then y is equals to 3 so on this problem we can arrive a general solution so it is a solution that contains uh, constant of integration c so for this if we have condition so we're looking for a particular solution okay so our aim for now is to uh, have a general solution the next is we look for a particular solution of this with this uh, condition okay so here is our solution okay first let's just copy the problem which is 2x we have y y prime is equals to 1 plus uh, y squared so first is we need to uh, uh, this y prime we need to substitute that we all know that y prime is just equals to dy over dx so let's uh, use this uh, equation okay so this is 2x y y prime is this one that's dy over dx is equals to we have 1 plus y square and then after that uh, we just cross uh, multiply cross multiplication or we can have let's divide uh, by dx so this can be considered out and then we have uh, dx here with close parentheses okay so to proceed we have this 2x we have y dy is equals to we have 1 plus y square and then the dx and then next is we need to use the uh, separation of variables so separation of variables takes place on this uh, equation okay use separation of variables okay. then to proceed we all know that we have here that, that is y dy and we have y here and then this x must be transformed to this dx okay so on this side or we can simply uh, separate them okay so from here we have from dy we have 2y we have all over this one that's 1 plus y squared and then from the right side the remaining variable will be dx then over this one yes uh, variable x the next is after that we can have uh, integrate outside okay. so this side we can use uh, we can have integrate use integration And then after that, this one integral of 2y dy over 1 plus y squared. Let's use this. Uh, let's use use of substitution. Okay. Where are you? Is 1 plus y squared. This one. Okay. 
use you substitution where are you is past one plus y squared so take the derivative of the that is the this will become du is equals to 2y and then did you notice that the value of uh, 2y dy is just this one 2y dy so therefore this 2y dy this that is only du okay? so again to proceed we have that is du over u because 1 plus y squared that is u and then s equals to the integration the integration of dx over x is just ln x plus c again and then this will be our uh, remaining integration plus d u over u again to proceed that is uh, that is uh, ln u is equals to this ln x plus c and then transposing this ln x to the uh, left side that this will become okay will become ln u minus ln x is equals to c okay. again by using sub substitution that our u is just 1 plus y square so let's uh, use this u as 1 plus y square so this will become uh, ln of 1 plus y square minus uh, ln x s equals to c and then by using the properties of logarithm if we have ln of m plus ln of n, this is the same as ln of m times n. Okay, so therefore we can apply this, uh, this equation, we can apply this property of logarithm. Okay. Then that is ln, we have 1 plus y squared over x is equals to c then after that take the exponential logarithm okay, side by side okay, this will become eln is equals to 1 okay then eln is equals to 1 and then let let c1 is equals to e plus to c Then next is uh, after uh, get the exponential logarithm, we can arrive to this equation. It's one plus y square over x is equals to again our a is to c is uh, c one, so that is c one. Okay. Then apply the cross multiplication method that will become one plus y squared is equals to we have c one x okay again we have a condition that of x is equals to two and then our y is equals to three so we can have uh, our condition so from this one that y uh, okay one plus okay our y is just three so that this is three square is equals to c1 our x is 2 okay so we can have that is 10 is equals to 2 c1 or our c1 is just equal to 5 okay. so next is uh, after getting the uh, value of c we can have our uh, particular solution Okay. 1 plus y squared is equals to c1 or c1 is 5 is 5x okay. or y squared minus 5x 
plus one is equal to zero. So that will be our uh, final answer. Y square is equal to minus five x plus one is equal to zero. Again, we have a quick review. From this problem, we can have uh, we can directly or or we can separate this equation we using separation of variables. After that, uh, after you separate the variables, integrate both sides. Then after integrate both sides, so again, use this U substitution. Okay. And then apply the uh, loss of logarithm. We have ln of m plus ln of n. This will, that is just ln of m. Uh, ln of m uh, times n. So again, we have a properties again that if we have uh, ln, ln of m minus ln of n, that gives us uh, ln of n over n. Okay, this applies to this uh, equation. Okay. Then after that, uh, use the, uh, I mean, uh, get for the particular solution, lock for the value of C1. So from this uh, condition, we can have our C1 is plus uh, 5. Okay. So our final answer will be y squared minus 5x plus 1 s equals to 0. Okay. Thank you. Okay, let's solve this uh, second problem. We have my dx plus nx dy. So let's solve for the uh, separation of variables. Okay, we're looking for uh, general solution. Okay, so again, uh, my dx plus nx dy is equal to zero. Okay, where m here and n is uh, constant. Okay, m and n uh, is, uh, are constant. So here is our solution. Okay. So first is let's copy the problem. My dx plus nx dy is equal to zero. Okay. First, uh, let's uh, use the separation of variable in order for us to uh, integrate uh, easily. Okay. So from this one, or no, no, we can have first uh, separate the variable. Okay. From here, we have m, m dx, and then we have dx here. So it's under, uh, understood that we have m dx over x plus, again, here we have n dy over y is equal to 0. Okay. After that, we can use the uh, integration. Okay. So, integrate both sides. Okay. And then the integration of m uh, dx over x. Okay. Or we can. Okay. Or we can first isolate the constant. Okay. We have m. And then integral of this dx over x plus okay, the integral of no we have n okay integral of this one we have dy over y is equals to this one we have the integral of this zero. After uh, getting up, uh, isolate the constant, we can now uh, directly, uh, I mean, easily to integrate. Okay. So for this one, the integral of dx over x is just ln x. We have m ln x plus n. The integral of dy over y is just ln y. Okay. 
and then the integral of zero is constant that gives us c okay again apply the rules of logarithm this will become ln of x is to m plus ln of y is to m is equals to c okay and then next is we have ln of this will become xm times y raised to n is equals to c and then take the exponential logarithm both sides okay. okay that we all know again that e raised to ln is equals to 1 or we can let uh, c1 is equals to e c okay the next is we cancel out will become c1 okay and then to continue That gives us xm times y is to n is equals to c1 or this will be got xm we have yn is equals to c1 okay so this that would be our answer for the uh, problem Then we have a quick review again. After uh, getting the constant, we need to isolate this one. And then to this, uh, say to it that all variables are already separated. Then after that, get the integration. This one. After arriving the integration, use the properties of logarithm. This one. Okay, and then we can arrive to this general solution okay so that will be our final answer thank you for listening